What up guys, it's The Fighting Therapist here and we're going to cover episode five of increasing your work capacity. What is work capacity and how that can help you achieve uh, and surpassing plateaus and just making you a better overall individual. Before we start the video guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and please hit that like button guys so I can grow more as a channel and provide you guys as much info as possible. Again, down in the link below, there's my newsletter. If you sign up to that, you're gonna get first come, first serve of this information, which I already posted about and talked about in my email list. So definitely take advantage of that, guys, because you're gonna get it before these videos actually do come out. So work capacity, what's the point of work capacity? So I have a couple of examples here that I wrote that in the email that I wanna cover with you guys. Do you ever notice sometimes when you're training or you had a really good program or you're more of an advanced lifter and you've hit a plateau or you notice there's no more strength gains happening, your, let's say your 5K run time is actually getting worse because you've been pushing it so hard and you're falling into overreaching, overtraining, fatigue, you're not recovering as much. We talk about um, how to increase work capacity. A pretty easy example is, let's say this is how much you can handle before you start overreaching, over fatiguing, right? So we want to kind of build that wine glass, right? Or if we take like a funnel method, if we're pouring water, we don't want to overspill. When we overspill, we, we push ourselves more than we can actually recover, more than the body can recover, right? So we want to kind of grow that wine glass, grow that funnel as much as we can so we can handle more. A great example of this, guys, is following Ross Edgley. I'll put like his social media stuff down below. If you don't know him or if you do, you know what I'm talking about. This guy completed so many challenges where he swam all over Great Britain as an example. So if you talk about how much work capacity he has to recover from how many arm swings he has to do each and every day, that's just a prime example. You know what I mean? So he grew his funnel so wide that he can handle so much and recover. So little things that I wrote down in an email, this is what I'm gonna tell you guys. You can play with rest time, play with the sets and the reps, when it comes to fights, when it comes to other types of training, you can play with the distance, the rounds, the duration of the round, the volume, the load. There's so many things that you can utilize in your training to increase your work capacity so you can just do more. I'll give you another little example of what I did when I was in Florida about a month ago. So I trained 12 to 14 sessions a week, all with different intensities, coming out to roughly 16 to 18 and a half hours a week of training. Now. This is me off training camp. I'm working on increasing my work capacity, so when I'm back in camp, I'm really able to put in maybe 20, 25 hours of training in this gym, again, at different intensities. That's my goal, because I want to be able to come here, push hard, work on what I need to work on, and then recover with the sleep and the nutrition and everything else I'm doing. Little things like this, just to increase work capacity, is gonna make a big difference. Uh, if you're a weightlifter in the gym and you want another little example, let's say you're doing your biceps four days a week and your load is pretty high, right? You're doing like five sets at each workout for biceps at all different exercises. Won't you add another day, right? Add another day, add more sets, play with volume, play with rest. So many little factors you guys can switch into your program to try to elicit that change from that plateau that you hit and to work your work capacity as well. Especially when it comes to a fighter, our goal is to have a pretty high work capacity so the damage that we do in here, we're really able to recover and we don't plummet down to out for a couple of weeks, to a couple of months, so on and so forth. So really hope you guys did enjoy this video. I really suggest you guys utilize work capacities to your advantage and build your program. So throughout the year, throughout each mesocycle, throughout each workout plan you follow, you're building more and more and more so your body can handle and withstand a lot. I, I will post a little card up here. I did do a 10K challenge where I burned 10,000 calories in 24 hours. So I pretty much worked out for about 16 hours. So that was like where I was working on my work capacity in one day to see how much I can handle. So that's a different story. You guys can check that out. It's pretty fun. It was a great video to do and I like pushing myself. And this year we got a lot coming. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for listening. Your boy, that's it, Zach. Punch, headbutt, elbow, knee, peace.